Robbins Show. I'm Mel Robbins, and we're talking about how to define a vision for your life after 50. And all of the women with me right now are experiencing the big 50 freakout. Now, Tia, I understand you just turned 50. Yes, yes. I did. Awesome. <laughs> and why are you freaking out? I'm freaking out because I feel I lost my sense of purpose. Okay. I forgot about the things that I was very passionate about. I allowed my job to become my life. I'm an empty nester and divorced. And so I really been kind of reflecting on my life and mm -hmm. what I want it to be. Mm -hmm. And I just feel there's a void in my life and I don't feel fulfilled. Do you feel like there is passion missing in your life? I do, I really do. Cause that, that's the part, the purpose part. That's the part that's missing. I don't feel I have that passion. Gotcha. I wanna teach you something about the fact that really what you're talking about, although you didn't say it, is you don't feel energized by your life. When you sit there and explain in a very uh, eloquent and beautiful way that I'm just not happy, I think what you're actually saying is, I wake up and I'm not excited about what the day looks like and about how I'm spending my time. And so that brings me to the fourth question, okay? And we're gonna do it at the whiteboard, so okay. come with me, all okay. right? And the fourth question for those of you at home, this is on the After 50 Roadmap, and these are five questions that help you define a vision for your life. So the fourth question is perfect for you. And the question is, where in your life do you feel depleted? Maybe you feel a little stuck because thinking about it zaps your energy. And so I want you to come over to the whiteboard and I want you to write, what about your life right now zaps your energy, makes you feel small, makes you feel depleted? Okay. Go ahead and write right up here. Her, you're, okay, so what, what word is that? Go ahead and read it. Career. And explain why that makes you feel depleted. It makes me feel depleted um, because I've been doing the same job for over 25 years in HR, and I just don't feel fulfilled in that job. I don't have the love and passion I used to have for it anymore, and it, it doesn't uh, give me that, um, that happiness that I used to have with it, it, that drive that I used to have. I hear it. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, right. Okay, what's another thing that makes you feel depleted about your life? What word is that? Time. Say more about that. So time, I just, because of, I'm so absorbed with work, um, that's become my life. I don't have a lot of time. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not doing some of the things that I'm pa more passionate about is because I don't have the time. And that just sucks the energy out of me because I'm giving myself to everybody and I'm, I'm neglecting myself. Yeah. What's another one? That okay. Another thing that depletes you. Okay. That's one word, but no. Oh, <laughs> no fun. That's so, sad. Yeah. What does that mean? So it just I, because I'm so I'm working a lot and just you know my job is sucking me into everything. I'm not really getting out and having fun. The fun that I really want to do, the things that I really want to that I enjoy, um, I'm not having as much fun as I would like to have. Okay. Anything else? Let's write down a couple in a row. Anything else depleting you? Give me another one. <laughs> Hobbies, connections, relationship, negative thoughts. Yes. All depleting. Okay? So here's what I want you to, when you look at this, yes. what does that do for you emotionally when you look at those words? I just, it, I feel it in my chest. It almost feels like stress when I look at it. It just really just makes my, a knot in my chest when I look at all of these things. And who in the audience can connect emotionally to the words that are on this board? This is where we tend to live and this is where we get stuck. And what happens in your life is I believe that we all have this, this gas tank internally right, this fuel gauge that drives us. And when you're in this category in every area of your life, you feel like the tank is on empty. And you don't feel motivated to change and you don't know how to change. And so the easiest thing to do is make a list of all the things and then we come and we do the opposite because we want you to start to feel full in your life again. So 
we're going to ask a very simple question. What is something that we could do in this area of your life that would actually bring energy? So I would like to start my own business. And so I really would like to transition from a career that I've been doing for over 25 years to something totally different that would bring me more fulfillment. Great. OK. So this is one thing. Yes. That's fabulous. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hi. What is something that um, if you had, like, give me, give me what you would do if you had an extra hour a day? I would work on my um, business and, and really try to organize um, ways in which I can be more fulfilled. So some of the things that I really want to do, yep. I would make more time for an hour to really write those things down and really try to take action, okay, have some great. action around it. So what's one activity, whether, give me fun uh, first, what's one activity that makes you feel like you're energized because you're having more fun? One thing. Uh, I would say playing tennis. Okay, yes. so tennis. Uh huh. <laughs> What's one hobby that you like? Hobby, I would say um, traveling. Okay, yeah, so one hobby. trip. Yep. And tell me about connections. What does that mean? Connections really is, is making time to have relationships with, um, whether it's a female friend, going out, dating, just having more connections outside of work and having those relationships. Okay, terrific. This one right here, negative, we talk a lot about negative mindset on the show. You can definitely work on that. But here's what I want to point out to everybody. See how you feel like this, the weight of the world right here. When you start to identify what's something that would energize you if you made a shift, here you start to see steps you can take. She can be more mindful about playing tennis once a week. Why is that important? Because we know it energizes her. So if she has it in her calendar and she wakes up, the little fuel gauge goes more like this, because I see I'm doing something that energizes me. What else can she do? She can plan a trip sometime in the next six months. Why? Because if it's in the calendar, her fuel gauge goes like this, because she's energized by it. What else can she do? She can reach out to a friend. Why is that important? Because all these things make her own internal gauge go toward full. And what does that do? That brings purpose into your life. That brings energy into your life. And that will fuel you on doing the big thing. You see how that works? Yeah. All right, great. Now, I'm going to put this After 50 Roadmap right here on the MelRobinShow.com uh, website. Make sure you share it with your friends. In fact, if you're feeling a little lonely, missing a little connections like Tia, invite them over, make a bunk cake, and fill it out together, OK? <laughs> we'll be right back.